Good evening, everybody. Tonight, uh, this is Conscious Gatherers, and tonight it's uh, going to be Royce and myself. Terry will not be joining us joining us tonight as he um, uh, is actually not feeling well and has many things going on in his life. So the two of us uh, have a lot to share with you, and we're real excited um, uh, for our 58th episode, and today's date is December 28th. 2021. So here we are at the end of 2021, and what a year. <laughs> <laughs> Any comments, Royce, on that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's that my comment. <laughs> <laughs> that sums that up. Um, we are calling this episode Manifest 2022. Um, a lot of things were coming to us today as we were discussing and noticing things that we say, things that we do, going through the holidays, reactions of the holidays, actions of the holidays, all of that. And uh, it's like pretty um, interesting when you start looking at this a little more carefully as we were uh, doing today. And so we want to share that with you because we do think that... Um, 2022 is going to be a very exciting year. Um, like what else is new? <laughs> uh, and uh, it's uh, both, um, put it this way, we're still going to go through a lot of stuff and our own stuff. I got something to say. <laughs> go with it. Go with it. <laughs> Talking about being careful about our words. We're going to go through whatever it is that we manifest. Yeah. There you go. So that can be wonderful. We're, we're making this wonderful. And we're <laughs> going to we're going to uh, go through some of the words that we uh, uh, we're getting today and, and how people use those words. And even though we've talked about conscious language gene before, um, we thought this would be a perfect time because. I was saying things, and Royce was noticing how I was how I was saying these uh, things earlier today, and and it's like, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, these things that just become habit, we're not really thinking. So it's you know our attention's being drawn to being conscious, truly conscious. We're conscious gatherers. <laughs> we're conscious gatherers. Um, I'm going to start off, and then we're going to get into what we're talking about now in just a bit. Um, I did uh, receive some information on the solstice, which was one very powerful day. And so that was on 12-21-21, or 20-21. So we're in that high energy right now, and we're going to continue being in that high energy. And that's, that's the whole earth, all of humanity, we're in it. Yeah. And, and so it's affecting how we manifest. Uh, it's giving us an opportunity to manifest even greater things. But uh, I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to share with you uh, what I received. And then Royce at the end of our podcast today is also going to share what she received today. And I thought it was really strong. And uh, and, and uh, so we'll share that after a while. Okay. Okay. All right. In the heart of, in the heart of one, we are rejoicing. It is the outcome of what is to come in the days before you. Keep the Christmas warmth, that feeling, as the world goes through the turmoil. It is a releasing, a true, a true reveal of the systems of old that are to diminish on this earth plane. It is the love, dear ones, that feeds you. Let this love permeate every part of your body. Feel it, know it. The greatest show on earth is coming, not to a theater near you, but within you. Hold the light. Do not let it waver as all is exposed to never again return to this earth plane. Yes, it is a time to rejoice. Let the old systems fall. New ones that serve humanity and the sky and earth are being put into place. It will be freedom as all shackles are being removed. New, invent new inventions, a greater life, a way to be in the physical will be so joyous. Again, know this. For this we say 
Thank you. You are the courageous ones. Let your hearts shine. Know the importance of this. The peace is yours. Here, here. Yeah. So there you go. Mm-hmm. So um, we continue in these exciting, and as I said on this podcast before, weird times. <laughs> so uh, and uh, I, I shake my head. I thought, oh, really? <laughs> but uh, uh, we are moving through this, and um, but keep in mind, this is Manifest 2022. And we're only a few days away from 2022. And I, you know, as what I just uh, shared with you, what I received on the 24th or 21st, excuse me, that, um, you know, we will be rejoicing. So um, keep that in mind and know that it is us. It's it's a work for ourselves, for all of humanity, for ourselves personally, as well as all and the earth. Yes. And, you know, I've, I've said several times before where we go one we go all. Whatever strides forward we can make individually, we're doing it for everybody. It sets a tone. You know, the, uh, the, the consciousness that runs through everything, everybody feels it. And so it's uplifting to everyone. All it takes is just a little bit of effort. <laughs> <laughs> and even that effort, when you're in your joy, yeah, it, it, it becomes effortless. effortless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, we used to talk about that effortless word, uh, you know, what few years ago. And but it's truly what it is, because when you enjoy it, you just enjoy doing it all yep. or doing it, being it, whatever, you know, whatever. However, you're living in the moment. Um, one thing we were talking about earlier uh, today um, is our creative ability of our words. And. Um, you know, just become fully conscious of what you say and be in the affirmative, not wishy-washy. Say what you really mean and be open, be honest. And a few of the phrases that uh, we, we talked about today is one was kind of. <laughs> Think about what that says. I kind of know. Do you know or don't you know? Yep. Oh, kind of. That means nothing. Is that, are you afraid to speak your truth? Or you kind of speak your truth? I mean, just think about that. And you can laugh, you know, <laughs> Royce is laughing over here. <laughs> so it's, uh, it, is, it is funny, but I hear a lot of people say kind of. And it's kind of a, co- to me, it's a cop out. <laughs> kind of a cop out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say I don't say that on occasion, but boy, I, I kind of a cop out. I love it. So it is. It is. And I just think about that. And what's another word? Um, try. Yeah. I'll try to do that. I'll try. So all I can do is try. Yeah. Just just remember the the words of the wise Yoda. Do or do not. There is no try. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And if you do something and you don't feel it's done properly or what you saw as the end result, so what? Yeah. yeah. Do it a different way. Yeah. Or maybe it's something you really don't want to do. That's right. But, but but change your mind. Change your mind. <laughs> and that's okay. And it's like and taking that risk, you know, it's reaching inside yourself and really knowing what's best for you. R-I-S-K. Reach inside self and no. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So um, actually, I was given that once in uh, when I was standing there and waiting for a bus in Egypt. <laughs> I'm like, okay, got it. <laughs> but that is, um, but anyway, just think about that. Another another thing, um, because I, I caught myself, actually, Royce caught me saying this, something to the effect, I don't think I want to. And then I, whatever I was talking about, I don't think I want to. About those words that we use, that's very nebulous. Yeah, that lets that lets the universe just fill fill in whatever you know. It is. And what is the universe? Yep, that's that's ourselves. So whatever garbage we have laying around inside ourselves is going to slide in someplace if we don't get rid of it. Yeah. So it's be explicit. Again, 
you want something or you not want something. And think about the holidays. You know, you're offered a cookie or you're offered something. And you may want it. If you do, speak up. Mm -hmm. And be more than happy to take that cookie that you want or use the fine china. We're going to get into that in a bit. Uh, The crystal or the silver, all these things that we may bring out once a year. But anyway, just, you know, if you want it, take it. And or if you don't want it, say no. Thank you. <laughs> I, do, I do not want that. <laughs> and you're being honest. Yes. And and you want to be polite, mm-hmm. but you just say no, thank you. And uh, if somebody's offended, that's their issue. That's right. That's not yours. If you don't want it, again, it's be honest. But mo- you know, when when you're totally honest with yourself and you're putting that out to the other person, that will. Normally, <laughs> offend nobody. Yeah. Yeah, they see the honesty and they appreciate it. And it and it plants a seed for them to follow suit if they want to, you know? Hmm? Yeah. So it starts with each of us. Yep. It starts with our thoughts and then our words. And so remember that. All right. Um I you know, mentioned a, a few minutes ago about um, you know, using the fine china, the silver, the crystal. And um, and so there's one word I was using was treat yourself. Yeah. And it's like, uh, <laughs> and then Royce caught, caught, caught me and said, why is this a treat? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it, it can be a daily thing. That's right. That's right. Live. Don't be afraid to live. And don't wait on somebody else to make you happy. And if it makes you happy to use the fine china, use it. What are you waiting for? Live. Think about that. What are you waiting for? <laughs> well, I'm going to put it away. I'm afraid to scratch it. I'm to do in all of these things that we go through. It's like that's a bunch of BS. You know, if a glass is worth you know a thousand dollars, so what? Yeah. Now, if, are you afraid to use that, that you're not good enough to use that? Think about that. Heck, yes, you are good enough. Yeah. All of you. Um, my my mother had this. Uh, it was a pretty plate. It was, it was cut glass, but it was a very pretty plate. And there was another lady who was visiting, and something fell out. I was getting something out of the china cabinet, and it fell on that plate and cracked a little piece off of the edge and that other lady just just was like oh oh that your mother's plate well what is she going to do and I looked at her and I said it's a plate (laughs) (laughs) it's just a plate yes I didn't hurt myself I didn't hurt my mom it was just a plate (laughs) just just think about that with anything Mm -hmm. and it's like yeah, you know, every moment is special. I mean, and, and it's living in that moment. Yeah. And, it's, and that's how we're manifesting in, in, in 2022. Do it now. Don't wait. So if, what are you waiting for? Yeah. And, you know, people say, well, I'm waiting, you know, you know, I, I, I don't want to scratch it. I'll wait and I'll just put it away. And I, then I look at him and said, well, hold on. I said, are you going to wait till you're 70? And they may be 75 years old. <laughs> and, and, of course, they get it. But uh, yeah. it's like, it's silly, mm-hmm. the things that we're silly about. Now, if you are uncomfort- you know, if you're uncomfortable with that, then you take a look. Why are you uncomfortable? Or if it's not your thing, that's okay, too. Do you feel like you're not worth it? Yeah. I used to be like that. I saw a bracelet on TV. It wasn't even real diamonds. It was real gold. And I wanted that bracelet so bad, so I finally got around to ordering it. And then when it got to my house, I seldom wore it because it was just too pretty. And I thought about that. And finally, I realized that I didn't feel worthy. Isn't that stupid? We are all so beautiful and so worthy of wearing the finest. So why not just do it, Mm -hmm. wear it, and own up to it. Own up to the beautiful beings that we are. 
And not everybody is going to have what they feel is the finest. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a piece of pottery. Yeah. It may be a piece of china, maybe a piece of crystal. It doesn't matter. And you may have in different moods. I do. Yeah. Uh, but I start using my crystal glasses to, uh, I'll take, I'll have a glass of wine by myself. And some people are afraid to do that. Yeah. And um, I remember I, I was listening to um, somebody else, probably another podcast, but it, it stuck with me. And uh, that is, would you buy a bottle of wine for $20 or no, order a $20 glass of wine if you're by yourself? A lot of people like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> just, I, I know it many times I'll, I'll be at somebody's house and, or they're at my house and I said, would you like a glass of wine? They said, well, is the bottle open? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Does it really matter? <laughs> I've done that. I've done that. I've done it too. And that's like, <laughs> why, you know, it's like, of course it's not open. <laughs> I mean, normally a good bottle of wine is you open it and you drink it or, mm-hmm. or unless you put some spot stop, stopper on it and save it for another day, which I do too. Uh, but uh, it's like, treat no, not treat yourself, but you just know, just do it. Live. Live. Start living. Quit waiting. No more waiting. Yep. What are you this, waiting for? This this new year, this is a perfect time for us to flush out those old ways of thinking. You're not worthy. It's too pretty. Uh, it costs too much. Blah, 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 blah. You know, you, you just, you clam up and stop living if you go that route. So let's live. Let's step into 2022 with our heads held high and Joyous. Yep. Remember to express your heart. Yeah. And what is that? That's being totally honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. And remember those words that come out of your mouth because they're expressing what's what's in you. And if you catch yourself, like I happened today, I went, oh, I was being very nebulous. Why? And so, you know, it really points out to me, it's like, ooh. You know, uh, <clears throat> many of the, our channelings or whatever you want to call it, uh, messages that we get from our cells, our God cells, our higher cells, our source cells, whatever words you want to use, it's you know, it, a lot of things are repeated over and over and over again. And it's like, well, yeah, I know that. <laughs> uh-huh. Do we really know it? Because if we really knew it, we would be living it. Yeah. And it's time to start living it. Yep. So to me, it's a very strong message for 2022. We're going to change the world. Yes. And this is in our consciousness is what changes this world. We came in at this time to be those change changers and remove those sh- shackles that uh, we allowed uh, to go through to feel what it's like to be separate from source, which we are not. That's right. And it's like time. Live. Live, everybody. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just want to dance on the table right now. You know? <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, just a lot of the dictates uh, that we swallowed as a kid um, come up. Um, and it's like, don't touch this. Don't do that. Don't do this. You know. And here, you want to eat this. Here, eat this and make sure you eat it all. And <laughs> all of these dictates. Don't sit there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Walk on this grass. Don't walk there. <laughs> you know, until we, we clam ourselves up and, and just stop living. Yeah. And how silly is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, to me, it's a big, uh, it's a big uh, outpouring of uh, ourselves, and um, and we really want to share that because we're you know, catching ourselves in this whole thing. It's like, whoa, start living, manifest 2022. Yeah. All right, um, I'm going to have Royce um, really uh, uh, received a really nice message today, and uh, go for it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Times are changing so quickly now. 
hold on tight for the new millennium has truly begun. There are 22 Hebrew letters of the Hebrew alphabet, and you are upon year 22 of the 2,000-year cycle. The scene has been set. The platform has been poured upon which the capstone, the capstone of a new era, is placed. Dance, sing, rejoice for the darkness of the night is giving way to the rising sun of a new day, the rising sun, the raising of souls has begun. There is no stopping it now. Put away the old. It is done. Let no man pull you backward. There is no ground to stand upon there. Allow me to read that again. Let no man pull you backward. There is no ground to stand upon there. Rejoice, for the platform of potential has been prepared for us all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's been prepared for us all. It is. We're preparing it. Yes. Together. Yes. So remember that. It starts with you. Each one of you that are listening to this podcast doesn't start anywhere else. You can't point the finger at another and become the victim. That's done. That's Times old. Over. There's no ground. The ground's not there of what Royce just shared with us. You know, time to move on. We are the change makers. Yeah. So let's do it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you all for joining us tonight. And um, I think we covered a lot, even though it's been a little shorter um, uh, podcast tonight, at least so far, unless something else comes in the next moment. But uh, our next podcast will be January 11th, 2022. Mm-hmm. So that'll be a one 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 two zero two two. So uh, <laughs> might be quite an auspicious day. So um now, like today is not, but it is all wonderful, special days. Live in the moment because that's all we have right now. This very moment. This very moment. And look at the beauty in it. And if something comes up in your life that you feel down or whatever, then you look at the, the beauty part of it. And the last podcast, uh, I said something um about walking through the debris. So all you have to do is walk through it. You don't take it in. You walk through it. So remember that. Keep your heads up high. Smile on your face. Well, it's up to you. You want to smile on your face. And a lot of us are going through, you know, going through some hard times. And that's okay. And if tears fall, let the tears fall. That can be tears of release or tears of joy. Yeah, let it out. Yeah, don't hold back. Don't hold in. And they said, I don't, you know, people say, I, I, I can't be myself around certain people. I'm like, why not? Yeah, you can. <laughs> you certainly can. Because the more you, you allow yourself to do that, it allows everybody else to do that, too. It, it gives them the impetus to be themselves. And if they're not interested in what you have to say, you'll know it rather quickly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if we can just stop following those old patterns and be free ourselves. To be ourselves, it helps everybody and everything. It really does. So, well, Happy New Year to everybody. And, um, you know, we're really close to uh, to the New Year's uh, Eve and New Year's Day. And um, I hope your, your, uh, your, your holidays were wonderful and the warmth of Christmas. Um, uh, Those that have felt the warmth of Christmas, keep that in your hearts. And those that have memories of the warmth of Christmas, keep that in your heart. It's all the same. And uh, that's not, that's the warmth of the holidays, all of that that comes with it. And I want to thank you all for staying for this long. I am very grateful and very blessed to have been able to share this year with you to And I'm very grateful to have been given the time and the space 
to speak my heart. What a blessing. And I only wish that you are given the time and the space to speak your heart as well. And that's given, <clears throat> and that's to be given by you. That's right. Yourself. That's right. Give it to yourself. So this coming year, know that you're loved immensely from the bottom, the middle, the outside, the everywhere of my heart. I love you so much, and I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you. Remember, this moment, do life. Yeah. Fully. Whatever that is. At that moment. And that's it. <laughs> and it's it's really quite simple. Effortless. Living in that joy. Effortlessness. Yeah. yeah. It's like, okay. So, thank you all for this year. This is, again, our 58th episode. And uh, this is, we're going on almost two years of doing the podcast. And these podcasts have been a blessing for me, that's for sure. Yeah. And because it makes me look at, at things much more deeply. Mm-hmm. And I truly enjoy uh, doing this. Um, I'm speaking for myself. I do, too. And, and so does Terry. I, I will speak up for him a yeah. little bit here since he's not <laughs> with us tonight. But uh, Terry, blessings to you when you hear this podcast. But uh, okay. and blessings are, of course, coming from ourselves. But uh, it's, it's a word that we use, and, and uh, but it, it does have a lot of meaning to it. And, um, you know, you can feel that. And it, it's a compliment when somebody uh, offers that to you. Yes. It is. It truly is. Yeah. So, so accept, accept it. <laughs> <laughs> we got that at the same time. Accept it. Yeah. <laughs> We're worth it. We're worth it all. Yes. Remember that. Manifest 2022. Put on your crown and be happy. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> all right. Good night, everybody. And thank you for being with us this evening. Good night.